Hi. Now it's finally time to see why our first program did what it did. And in this video, I will not only give you explanations, but also show you how you can save them in your source file. To add explanations to our code, we can use a feature called comments. Comments can be written in plain English or any other language you like, but actually it should be English. The reason for writing English comments is that many non-native speakers like me can understand it. Comments are part of the source code, but they are ignored by the compiler. A comment is only there to give readers of your code additional information. Let's see this in action. This here is a block comment. It starts with a slash and an asterisk and ends in asterisk and slash. And in this case, it says that every program starts with a so-called main function. We will take a very close look at functions in the future, but for now, it is important to understand that the execution of any C program will start with the main function. Every program must have one main function, which is indicated by int main void. What follows are so-called statements that instruct the computer to do certain things. For example, this line here is a statement that prints the text hi to the screen. Let's add this explanation in a comment. This comment is a line comment. Line comments start with two slashes and extend to the end of the line. The next line after a line comment is not affected by the comment in any way. And speaking of the next line, all this return statement does is to return the number zero. Now you may ask, who gets this zero? Well, it's whatever program called our main function. We will not worry about who called our program, but we give that program a value back to indicate whether our program encountered any issues. Zero usually means that there were no errors. Now at least one piece is still unclear. What is this first line for? Well, this first line is necessary to make the printf work. By adding this, we tell Clang or whatever compiler you are using that it can find everything it needs to know about the printf in a file called stdio.h. Now, after you have gained some coding experience, you will definitely not need that many comments in your code. These parts of our program will be self-explanatory. Too many comments can even render the code hard to read and thus it might be better to comment only those parts of the code that are more involved. So let's remove these comments again. What comments are also often used for are short descriptions of what the program is meant to achieve. Furthermore, you can document who participated in writing a source file. Now everybody knows that I'm the creator of this awesome program. One last thing. Have you noticed how I used whitespace in the source file? By whitespace, I mean the use of new lines, tabs, or spaces. New lines are important after statements that begin with a hash sign and after line comments. These instructions are special and we need to signal the end of them by beginning a new line. So we could not continue the first line with int main. But apart from that, the compiler really doesn't care about white space. You could write the whole main function in one line if you wanted to. For example, like this. But please don't do that. Spreading statements over separate lines will make your program much more readable. You will thank yourself later when looking through your older source files. Also, have you noticed that the printf and the return are indented? As shown before, the compiler doesn't care about the two spaces at the beginning of these two lines. However, it also helps making your source file more readable. Indentation makes it clear that both these statements belong to the main function. Okay, now that was really all for this video. And no, there's still a lot to clarify, for example, I've already used the word function 
quite a few times. That's a topic for a later video. We first need to cover all the other basics. You will see in the end it will all make sense. In the next video we will see that printf can actually do a lot more than just say hi. See you there.